Leeds have tasted the high life in Europe. Their 6-0 thrashing of Besiktas equaled a Champions League record. They've also known tragedy. Two of their supporters were murdered when they last travelled to Istanbul to face Galatasaray in the UEFA Cup six months ago. It was always going to be an emotional return to the city for David O'Leary's young side, who were looking to strengthen their position as the leaders of Group H. Our commentators in Turkey are Jim Beglin and first Peter Brackley. It's an intimidating arena, but with every effort having been made to restore cordial relations between the two cities, there's been so far an air of friendship rather than hostility on this daunting return for Leeds to Istanbul. Now comes the task of containing a Besiktas team striving to avenge that six-goal thrashing. At least Leeds won't have to face French striker Pascal Numa. He's suspended after his Ellen Road misdemeanors. Defender Erman is also banned and Ibrahim left out. In the shake-up, there are places for Mehmet, Ali Eren and Yazid. For Leeds, of course, there are two significant changes. For the absence of the injured Nigel Martin, England under-21 goalkeeper Paul Robinson steps up for only his seventh senior start. And in attack, Alan Smith's suspension means Michael Bridges finds himself back in favour. Australian Jacob Byrne stays in midfield for the injured Olivier Dacour. Tonight's referee is from Holland, Jan Wegerich. I'm getting a real buzz for this Champions League business, says David O'Leary. And this will surely be another test. Jim Beglin alongside me here, they're growing maturity. I think so, Peter. I think Besiktas, they're a disorganised mess at Allen Road. I would think they'll be unrecognisable from that tonight. They're to show much more cohesion and passion. Then again, what you expect in this group and what you get are two totally different things. Offside, as Lee Bowyer played it through. Emilio Scala, the Italian coach of Besiktas can't really explain their performance in the first game but he says if we get our concentration right tonight as we did against Barcelona it will be a different story he had clashing with Matteo so a free kick then to Leeds though he will take this one Matteo with the flick on it's a chance all oh! back up a good stop by Shiropu, but an early chance then for Leeds. Well, I think it was Karin that lost Baka. The movement was good from Leeds. This runs all over the place. They completely forgot about Baka. And to be honest, Peter, what a chance. I mean, he's fired it straight at the goalkeeper. OK, Shiropu's made a good save. But the hands on the head from Baka said it all. Ahmed. He's done well here to get his cross hit too. But it's no scare for Paul Robinson. He will appreciate that early feel of the ball. Maduka trying to use his strength here against Umit. Let's hold the play up so well, Viduka. And he has been looking really sharp in front of goal. Umit was all over him there. Backer trying to find some space in there. Clipped in by Hops, and just the wrong side of the post. I think Sharunmu knows all about him. If you watch Sharunmu's movement, he was anticipating exactly what Hart was trying to do, and he was across there early enough. I think had it been down and inside, the keeper would have been present to deal with it. Kahan. Beginning to advance more now, Kahan. This is Rush, and has got near post, looking to dart in. A bit of a scare there as Ahmed went down. This is a good ball in for Munch, and you said before, bounced in front, difficult to defend. Robinson on hand to deal with it at the end. And it's pleading for the free kick. I'm not going to get one though. Bridges is the player down, and the referee is taking no action. Ali Eren is uh, having words with Bridges, he was very unhappy with the way he fell. Didn't see an awful lot in it, Peter. I thought even for a moment when I saw it first off that Bridges might have been attempting to just flick the player's heels. Maybe he just fell awkwardly, but he did seem in some trouble because he was writhing around on the ground. Kahan. Betts and taking up a useful position here. Decent strike too. A 
what way out. Well, it was good vision and awareness because I think he knew that Robinson was just slightly off his line and if he gets the volley to dip a little bit more, the keeper might have been in trouble. Yassi. Carham, the number two, well forward. Oh, right. Just for a moment there. Seems in some disarray. Well, he did well, Robinson, because he followed it at the end, realised at the last minute it might just drop under. And he dealt with it. Well, David O'Leary admits it's not the game he would have brought him in for, of course, given different circumstances. But as it is, he feels he's well up to the task. And they do rate him very highly at Ellen Road, and he will eventually take over from Nigel Martin. Mehmet. Leads again, standing firm. This is Robinson again. Just watching it, watching it. Oh, it's going to drop in. Just made sure. Oh, Huckabee. Looking to shake off Umit. Mehmet. And Danny Mills. Oh, there was no flag for Duca. stick now from the you know I'm not surprised because I, I thought the two lead strikers were offside we're not going to see it from that angle I think in the end I think the Duke knew even though it was a cutie he had to try and hit the target but you would always fancy the goalkeeper from the angle it was at yeah, it was too tight for the Duke I know the form he's been in lately maybe it was worth a try Abet he might test him here still Abet Tight finish after a very promising run. Always easier from here. I thought he should have hit it earlier. I thought the extra touch didn't help. Now he's got to try and go through Woodgate, through the legs, but very weak. Only a few seconds remaining now in this first half. This intimidating atmosphere in the Imamu Stadium in Istanbul. And here is the half time whistle by the Dutch referee well the home fans don't like what they've seen so far not too many worrying moments for Leeds they have certainly created a chance or two themselves at the other end at half time it's Besiktas nil Leeds United nil Schick just then starting the second half. Now attacking the goal to our right. Mills with his first intervention of the second period and his boot was too high. And we've seen some stout defending by Mills. From Woodgate certainly alongside him. Mehmet taking the free kick. An angle run here from Lee Hat. Woodgate had gone with him. Abet. changes for either team Ahmet it's just too high though for Nihat and respite for Kelly it will be a goal kick for Leeds here's Burns the Australian and from Parabat of Power his home country He has a real spiky presence up front for Besiktas. Here's Ahmed now. He's made that little bit of room for himself. He had a poor strike there. The Leeds will be complaining. Well, if you don't keep it down, you don't have a chance. But the good thing about Leeds there, look, three bodies closing them down, and that was enough to distract. Robinson not forced into a save by Scala's team. He's coming for some harsh treatment tonight as Nihat. Oh, yeah, he's worked hard. Murat to Kahan. Now Mehmet. Oh, 
Got into a dangerous position here. Just couldn't pull it back properly. And he has it. Couldn't keep it on target. Nice, nice to cross it. Never really got it properly on the instep. It would have been special, really, had he scored from there anyway, but just looking to see where Murat's going to operate. It looks as if it's going to be right wing back. Munch. Burns was snapping away again. And Leeds have the free kick. That's better from Huckabee. I mean, he was fouled that time, but he looked like getting hold of it. And that was missing for quite a bit of his game tonight. But Burns, terrific as well, to win it again on the edge of his box. Very, very disciplined from him tonight. He can be very proud of his contribution so far, Burns. This is Huckabee. He's edging towards that Besiktas goal. And clear of such by Typhor. As he warded him off then, Huckabee. He lacks a bit of discipline with his challenges, isn't he, Typhor? Yeah, he was at it a lot in the first half and again there, but it's imperative now. Ian Hart gets good service into the box. This might be, you know, Leeds' best chance to nick something. Good delivery. With Yazzie. Bit of Argy Bargy going on still. Matteo has now been stuck in the face. That's Woodgate going in. Well, I was watching them. I'm not sure if the referee was. Well, the fair bit going on. Yeah, Yazin was bang out of order. He elbowed Darren Huckabee to start with. And when it did finally come in, as Woodgate challenged, I thought it came off Yazin's arm. Krestov to Kaha. Ihat. Now Backer and his legs whipped from beneath him by the substitute Murat. Completely missed time. I think you'll see more of that now. Frustration. You know, they're going to be anxious to get the ball back as quickly as possible as time starts to run out. Here's Mebet. Now Kahan. Klestov taking his chance to advance. Which he has squandered. That certainly was not a pass from Klestov. Well, that's a bad miss. Or should I should have said it's bad that he didn't hit the target because Klestov was going for the shot. Fortunate arrived at Nihad's feet. Good control, but he's always leaning back. Consequently, the ball's high over the crossbar, but on the rare chance they've had in the second half to get something in like that, they've never looked likely. Now there's another little incident going on. Knee hat and Mills at odds with each other. The Sheik has become completely indisciplined now. There's all sorts going on, gamesmanship all over the pitch. Ibrahim it's much the German midfielder again Oversell by Robinson in the right place to claim the header from Nihat that's about the best ball Munch has delivered all game he's only got a couple in and again there was no power wasn't sufficient power really to trouble Robinson did well to get from one post across to the other and an easy collect We've had so many goals in this group up to now. We were due a stalemate somewhere along the line, but I think Leeds will be delighted. And they really have mucked in well, Peter. You know, I mean, OK, I think they would have liked to have played more football tonight and try and create a little bit more and cause a threat. But the only really good chance they created all night long was that one from back of very early in the game. And after that, it's just been all about containment, defence, and, boy, they've coped comfortably. Ibrahim. It's all over. And it's a very useful point indeed for Leeds United. Such a daunting task for them back here in Istanbul. They have survived to keep their hopes of...